Welcome to Cute Things by Rebecca. I'm Rebecca and today we're going to make um, a bag with a pocket on the front. These are the supplies that we'll need to get started. This is going to be two hoopings. The pocket will be in itself and then the actual bag will be in the second hooping. So what you want to do first is prepare your first hoop for the pocket. These are the supplies we need. Um, we're making a 5 by 7 bag, so I have mine cut as follows. I have a 6 by 8 front and back main fabric, 6 by 8 um, lining fabric for both, and then I have my pocket and um, lining for the pocket. So that's all you need in a zipper. And um, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I have the pocket. Load it up in the machine, and I'm going to run the first step, which is the placement step. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. Okay, so here is your placement step for your pocket. Now what you want to take is your lining for your pocket. Um, flip your hoop over to the back side, and go ahead and place it. Um, let me make sure I have my right okay um your lining you want like this there okay i was just a little backwards there for a second um take your lining piece and put it pretty side down and line it up just below this line here with the bulk of the fabric facing to your right there Okay, I'm going to secure it with some tape. So it don't go flying everywhere when I put it back in the... Yep, and then flip your hoop back over. And then take your main pocket panel piece and turn it pretty side down. And do the same thing for there. And, um secure it and then run the second step in the machine and it's going to put a line right here and secure that together okay so now that the line has been stitched um, what you want to do is fold over your pocket panel and just kind of give it a good smooth smooth down there and do the same with the back I'm take my tape off because I'm going to use it again just to kind of hold down my fabric so it doesn't shift. Make sure it's good and tight. Okay. So now what it's going to do, it's going to kind of do like a little top stitch there and go all the way around and secure it. Okay, so now your pocket is done. Now I'm going to prep it for the next thing. You just want to remove your stabilizer from it and um, don't trim or anything just yet. Um, you want to wait until it's on your bag, and then when you trim your bag, it'll be good to go. So I'm just removing the, the stabilizer, and I'm going to leave it as is. So when I put it on my bag, I can line up my lines, and everything will be good to go. But there's my pocket. So now what we want to do is go ahead and put the bag load it up in your machine and get your tearaway stabilizer and run the first step which is the placement step okay here's the placement step for our bag um, for the zipper you just want to line your zipper up in between there make sure your center zipper is lined up with the center line you can use number five zipper on these two I think I just have this little one right now so I'm going to line it up, I'm going to secure it with tape, and then run the next step, which is going to put that on the stabilizer. 
Okay, the zipper is on. So now what you want to do is turn your hoop over. And you're going to take your lining fabric and pretty side down and line it up below this line here. Because the next step is going to sew the front and the liner together and just like the pocket it'll leave a line and then we fold it down so oops I'm actually I'm not going to fold it down because I'm using vinyl but I am going to go ahead and place my vinyl fabric just lined up with the zipper right here if I was using fabric or if I wanted to flip this down I would do place it upside down like that and it would do the line and then I would fold it over but I'm gonna do it this way today so I'm gonna do that now okay so I made the line there I'm just going to go ahead and take my lining piece of fabric and fold it down. I'm just going to tape it. Tape it real quick. And then it's going to, the next step is just going to go ahead and tack all this down together so it doesn't move around. Okay, now that everything's tacked down, you want to open your zipper. And this time is where we're going to put your pocket on. So you line your lines up with the edges, how you want it to be, kind of align it. Um, right about there. That's good. I'm going to tape it and secure it. And then also at this time you take your, your back main fabric and you're going to want to place the pretty side down over the entire project. And then we're going to run that step. It's going to seal it up all the way around. But I'm going to go ahead and tape it before I do all that so it doesn't move around. I had an oopsie on the video and I'm not going to rewind it to redo it. I had my pocket facing down. Don't do that. Have your pocket facing up towards you like that. You want your main fabric facing up towards you. I don't know why I placed it down. Anyways. That's what you want to do with that. So I'm going to go ahead and tape it, put my back fabric over the project, and run that next step. Okay, so now that is done, let's seal it up all the way around. I'm going to clean up my zipper area before I move on and open my zipper completely. And then what we're going to do is take your last lining fabric and place it pretty side down. And then run the next step and I'll leave you with an opening okay so now we're all done I have an opening for turning I'm gonna go ahead and remove from the hoop and clean up my stabilizer and I'll show you how we cut it okay so I went ahead and trimmed everything up and um, when I trim I leave extra zipper room for tugging and pulling sometimes when you tug around here and push um, the seams tear so leave a little bit of zipper and then for the opening I leave a little so I can um, sew that or I like to use stitch witchery and melt it um, so it doesn't open up so I'm going to go ahead and turn it over and we'll see what we've got okay so it's turned one side and I sealed the bottom already with some stitch witchery um, so now you just open it up oh, my 
fabric. It's so pretty, but it looks like it bled on my vinyl. Hopefully it'll come off. And it's because I ironed. I ironed my stitch witchery into it instead of taking my time. But anyways, here is your cute little top zip 5x7 bag with a little pocket. Isn't it cute? Um, lined and pretty. You can also, um, I have been making some tabs that would work great with this that you could pop up here and snap here, but I didn't make any for this demonstration. But you'd want to put the tabs in at the time that you're putting your pocket in your back piece on so it gets sandwiched in there so when you unfold it it'll be there to, ready to snap but there's a cute little bag i hope you like it see i i done ruined my bag but you know what that's for me that's all good okay i was just inspecting my bag I don't see any problems, but I did want to mention that when you do add the pocket, you're adding an extra layer of vinyl and an extra layer of um, lining to this whole process. So you're going to be sewing through a few layers of vinyl. So um, depending on how thick your vinyl is, these corners may or may not pop out for you. Mine probably won't. Um, but it's still cute regardless anyways you can add a pocket to most any of your bags now